this video is try to address the burning issue of PS2 mouse, a PS2 keyboard fail to function in your mighty computer. So you are just a tiny little users. There's nothing you can do about it. Your keyboard is not working. So obviously, the keyboard now is working. It's only window would not let you, let you, the only window is a problem. You see here, apply default, which is the BIOS. When you first open up your, your windows, turn on your computer, there is an option of a function key to press. So it often said you could uh, apply a, a default just to season and give a spice to your BIOS, it will not damage your, it will not do nothing to your computer. But in this instance, I would not, I would just leave the BIOS. BIOS is the first, first system check of your operating system. It's right before the operating system. If any virus got into the BIOS, you are ruined. So we will start Windows. There is no definite answer of why. There is an answer. PS2 keyboard is an old input-output device. Windows do not like it. So the easier way out to you is to use a USB. But if you do not have a USB keyboard, now we are loading into a Windows. And I have wrestling and waste two hours just to get the PS2 keyboard working again. And there is no conclusive answer of how 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 to how to make the PS2 appear again. So we will go into uh, there is a um, secret code. If you rename any files within Windows 10 with a string of code, it will give you a hidden function. I try to include a string of code. So, thanks goodness the PS2 mouse keyboard work again. So you open up the so-called God mode. We will go to Device Manager. Uh, and uh, if you type the keyword keyboard, Key keyboard, it will give you the keyboard status option and etc. etc. Now, the point is the <coughs> there is some <coughs> other USB program present and using up the resources of the keyboards that or it cause is perhaps you just unplug your PS2 keyboard and forgot and turn on the computer without the presence of your PS2 keyboard and then you might think to turn off turn on again and disappear and if you are prepared to spend half a day waste a whole day and spending two hours to wrestling with the OS you are just wasting your time. So, 
There is no definite answer. It all happened by chance. If you go to the um, look at the resources, uh, look at the type of input of the device, you can see PS2 PS2 mouse, uh, PS2 keyboard. There is little use you update driver or not because the window OS is just stubborn. Uh, you uninstall it, un uninstall the program will not harm your computer. It, it, the program always resign within the operating system. By all means, uninstall is a option to reinstall, so there is a chance the operating system will recognize your PS2 keyboard after two hours. And the, the operating system will recognize your PS2 keyboard after half a day, or the worst case, after the waiting the whole day to try to to try to uh, reinstall your keyboard. I do not know what Windows is thinking. Without the keyboard, how are you supposed to give commands to your computer? This is just way the the way Windows is is just a so uninstalling is an option. There is some other program using the resources of the uh, keyboard. Uninstalling the third party program is also an option. There is no definite answer. It is just uh, it is over the years it's the same whether it's Win ten or or not. Win 10 has a lot of function hidden. So, uh, device managers, after two hours of wrestling, I finally got a PS2 keyboard. Functioning again. Obviously, there's another keyboard device present. That's why it's not working, and the window refused to reinstall it. There is a PS2 keyboard. When it's not very really safe, working properly. When it's not working properly, it would have a. It will let you know with the color red or some some sign next to it. As I said, there is. There's a painful procedure of uninstalling, reinstalling, deleting, and there is no definite conclusion how to get it back on. It's just the way the window is frustrating. And I my I my pencil it. So after two hours, I finally get it work, and I do not know why. It may be the BIOSes, it may be the uninstall, it may be the fresh installing, and first to need to uninstall it. And the cause is just because you forgot to plug it in, an old PS2 keyboard, and your computer is ruined for what what what. When you you start it again, is your computer is completely ruined. This is what the intention of Windows 10 is intending to make a fool out of their users. Why do I say that? If you put your cur uh, cursor where you are and you try to type anything, the cursor will remain. Where you are typing, you see the cursor. Mm -hmm. The cursor disappear, Anyhow, there's some improvement over the the window operating. But uh, this is the painful story of how the PS2 keyboard and all P all input output device is after. Uh,
after a very painful uh, trial and errors, finally get it back working.